Welcome back to Fractal Aerodynamics. Today we are continuing an experiment which we already done in the past where we created a Venturi wand which uh, has a, a white cross section where water comes in and there here is a narrow cross section with a static pressure probe which measures the pressure in the in the narrow cross section and then we have a diffuser where the, the stream is widening again so we regained the normal flu, uh, diameter of the cross section of the flow. So in the past videos I wanted to show no. that the actual measurement yes. that happens in the static pressure probe in the middle or in the narrow cross section is actually not the real measurement because the, the pro probe only measures an inertial effect that is given by the stream itself. So because of the, um, the pressure probes uh, orthogonal to the stream, the inertial effect is not capable to get the real pressure because the forces that are like orthogonal to the real stream cannot be established due to the inertial force. But now because we are static and the pressure is moving, we're not really measuring the real stream, but because of, of the probe, it is not capable to establish the pressure into the orthogonal direction. Therefore, because of the centripetal forces or the inertial effects, you need not really measuring the real force that is in the stream but something that is affected with um, a mass inertia. So I will show now for this experiment is showing that by expanding the width of the probe length, the pressure measurement will deviate or alter in the way that the bigger the gap gets, the higher the pressure will be and the, small, the, narrow, the more narrow the, the gap or the probe gap is getting the more lower the pressure gets and now we are showing this in the video in previous video you may have seen that we had some troubles where this upper plate is not really connected with the actual construction inside but that really forms the tube but there between the the screws also through the pressure a fluid is, is passing by so it was falsifying the result of this measurement and therefore we couldn't really measure this effect but now I fixed this where I put some wrenches on okay. so no water can pass between the screws and the and the, the gap between the, the front plate and the um, inner tube construction so we really get only stream water stream that follows through this uh, this narrow cross section and nowhere else in uh, this construction this was an, a construction um, problem before yeah. and also I added a little bit of a water meter so I can really indicate the pressure that is entering here in this uh, valve how big it is in compared to the exit pressure on the other side and now, we, and now we are going to make the experiment where we will show how the pressure is deviating. Here we see the uh, construction from a closer distance. And we also use a little bit of a dispersion color where we can visualize the flow in the tube system a bit better. And we can also see in the narrow cross section the pressure probe there is a, a vortex with a bubble enclosed, so we can see how the, the vortex is formed and um, entering the pressure probe, how the water is entering the pressure probe. And now we are shifting the, the gap or the length of the probes. So now we have a very short length of the pressure probe and we can see the water level here in the middle of the picture
Now I make some made some marks so you can see better the difference of the water levels from the short distance and then later from the wide distance and you can clearly see that the pressure has risen from the red mark to the green mark where in the red mark indicates the short distance and the green the long distance and then we can see that the pressure level almost is at the same level after the diffuser which actually shows that deaccelerating a fluid does not reclaim the pressure pretty much so only a very small part is regained and here we can see the pressure level uh, before the constriction which is compared to after the constriction or after the diffuser is way much higher so this only this not this cannot only be explained by um, laminar forces uh, acting on the um, boundary of the tube but is uh, an effect of energy loss through uh, turbulence. So folks, that's for it now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned.